I, you know, as I talk to the kids, it looks like most of them are learning and they're, they're having a good time. They like the class, so that, that says something great for you. Um, but you. let me ask you, do you, I've talked to most of the kids, only seemed like one kid was probably going to be a chef, and he, he wants to be a chef. Uh, he's a senior, and so he's only been in this program for four or five months, and mm -hmm. The, the problem he told me is that if he's a chef, he, he said to, to go to the school that he wants to, it's a private school, and it's going to cost him upwards nearly up $100,000. Yes. And I was like, is that kind of the going rate to be a chef? Or? It is. Um, almost 15 years ago when I went to school, it was 65000 Wow. Still paying it back. Probably will be paying that For the back rest of your life. For the rest of my life. So, so let me ask you, are, are you aware of what's going on in Northern Europe and the vocational programs up there? Or? I've heard very small amounts. I'm not right. very well read yeah. on all of those things. Sure. But I do know, especially being from the culinary field, that um, Europe is more based on them trying to get them at a young age sure. and focusing on their career right. so that they can stage, they can do those things um, younger and not, sure. I mean, by the time you're 25, you're already in well into your career. Actually, by the time you're 18, you're well into your yeah. career. Basically, the way it works, and I'll just tell you in a nutshell, at 15 years old, you go into a, it's called an apprenticeship program, and the kids work three days. They get paid. They get paid. As a, the pay for uh, the culinary isn't as high as other things, but it would be somewhere around seven hundred dollars a month. So the kids receive seven hundred dollars a month to work three days in the field, in a real restaurant, and there's a lot of specific skills that they have to learn because there's this partnership. And then they, they're required to go to school two days a week in what I call world-class hotel type of facilities. Mm -hmm. And you could see that on my YouTube channel, Keith Ballard One. And so they do that for roughly three to three and a half years. And by the time they graduate at age 18, they are full-fledged bakers, full-fledged chefs. Um, what do you think about a program like that? I mean, all the kids here I, think, I was talking to about, they were like, wow, I didn't know about that. Sounds great. I think it would be awesome because you're actually developing right. a passion. It brings kids in sure. to school, which is one of the things that we always have a problem with. Huge disconnect you know, in America. Dis yeah. Uh, well, I don't want to be in this class. I don't like biology. Because they don't like understand this. why it connects to the real, the exactly. regular world. So if there's a connection. I also have the hugest problem where I have students that want to be in the class. Right. And for whatever reason, their counselors are not putting them in. Sure. Where I have kids who are like, I don't really care to cook. Right. And they're putting them in the class. Right. Um, and or I'll have kids that love it and are ready and they're only here for a semester. Okay. So, so it's no way to develop. Right. So that's and that's what it, my, my next question to What I pretty much heard is, again, all the kids really like it. But a lot of them here are just kind of fun to try it. It's a kind of a different attitude than what I, like, that I saw in Northern Europe, where the kids were here to learn. They were going to be a profession. They were going to cook. They were serious about this. They knew the end result in the end. And um, only one student here. Do you find, um, and all the other kids said this was just their first year in the program, um, and they're, they're majority of juniors and seniors. Do you see many kids that, can take this class for four years, or it's just not uh, set they up like can, that? but unfortunately... The way it's marketed um, the to way, the kids. Well, not just marketed, but the way that the placement... Um, the schedule. The scheduling, everything. It's, it, it doesn't allow for to be uh, no. uh, vocationally uh, positive, exactly. right? Exactly. Right. And not only that, but we have a full year class, right? and the counselors switch out and bring new students in second semester. So, so students are already behind. I understand. And then we have a mix of, right. you know, students that are ahead and students that need to catch up. Right. So it never becomes this like flow right. that it should be. Right. Where they're learning and starting off with stocks and soups and ending up in butchery and baking. Right. Because everyone is a constant catch up. It's constantly, oh, well, this person really loves it, so this person's a key or whatever. And Correct. So well, you sound like a really committed teacher, and Thank you. again, all the kids really liked you, and, 
and uh, they, they like doing this and and I just uh, I wish uh, you know, I, I, I would like to see a program in the United States more like what I saw in Northern Europe. I would love to see that as well. I think, unfortunately, um, programs like this are not a priority because they want to see test scores. That's correct. They want to see, um, in the United States, we have different priorities. And I don't think that a career-based uh, education right. is their priority. Well, and, and, and so what I see is the... The main priority is getting kids to drop out, not drop in. And what I say, mean by that is uh, approximately 50% of Latinos drop out of school, and about 50% of African Americans drop out of school, and about 25% of, of, of uh, Caucasian students drop out. And, and in countries where they have these incredible vocational programs like Belgium and Netherlands and Switzerland and Liechtenstein and Germany, they don't have these high dropout rates. These countries are doing better than the United States academically than we are on PISA, Program for International Student, the world uh, test. And thirdly, the kids come out of school, school to career, actually into the job field, ready to go making money. Exactly. So these are, this is an incredible program. I mean, it's a great concept, what you have going here. Uh, I just wish it were built out uh, like you just mentioned, as, as, though, yeah. as what they're doing over in Northern, Northern Europe. It would be a blessing. It would. Really. Sure. It'd be a so. blessing for everybody. <laughs>